Well, good morning, afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike, that's it, at Filmboy24, and I got a little treat for you today. Uh, I got a whole bunch of cameras, a whole bunch of film, a trip to Savannah, Georgia, and I can promise you, if your butcher's third cousin's aunt's twin sister's next door neighbor is anything like mine, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So what was all that garble in the beginning, in the intro? It, really nothing, but part of it was true. Uh, I do have a bunch of cameras up here, a bunch of film that's already been shot and processed and scanned, and I went to Savannah, Georgia. You see, I mentioned in a video or two ago, or three, I don't remember, my wife and I celebrated our 18th wedding anniversary and we just drove up to Savannah, Georgia for a long weekend, had a good time. And you know I can't go there with all its history and fun and, 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 and cemetery. We, yeah, okay, we, yeah. Uh, without taking some film cameras. Now I took four cameras and I only have three up here because the fourth one was a still camera and I haven't processed that film yet. I might show it to you one day if it comes out. So what I did is uh, I took these cameras with me. Uh, I started with this a gem right there. This is my self-converted Krasnogorsk 3 Super 16 16 millimeter movie camera. Um, I put the custom made cover that my wife made over the top of it to kind of help keep light out of it. I don't have it up here right now, but if you're interested in seeing that, I think it's going to be a part two eventually. Settle down. We're trying to get to it because I want to make a better cover for it. But uh, I have a video for the original cover that we did on this, and it came out not bad. So I took this and this 12-year-old roll of Vision 3 250D, which is a color negative film. Uh, I also took this little gem, which is vastly becoming my favorite Super 8 camera. It's a Minolta XL401 Super 8 camera. I took this and I popped in a roll of this almost, almost 50-year-old, plus X reversal film. Now, if you follow me in my channel, you know that I don't process as a reversal, so I processed it as a negative, and you'll see that in a minute. Lastly, my wife toted this around. Uh, this is my Canon 514XL. A, a great little camera. I don't know why I did that, but it's a good little camera. Uh, and I put a roll of equally old, in fact, same year, 1973, so just about 50-year-old roll of this Tri-X 7278 in her camera, uh, and we headed out to Savannah, Georgia. While there, we did a little bit of downtown, we did some dinner, we did some lunch, and we did the Bonaventure Cemetery. Now, it's a very well-known cemetery in the United States for its rich sort of history. It's an amazing cemetery and it's got ridiculous uh, sculptures. The, some of the stones are really beautiful. Um, they have nice pathways that you can go and take photos or videos or filmios. Filmios. And that's what we did. So most of this that we shot is at the Bonaventure Cemetery. We shot a little bit of it downtown. Um, not a lot, but we did get a little bit of it with the 514XL. Let me throw a little something in there. I know Christian's probably going to get on me, and he'd probably smack me if he was here, and I would deserve it, but I did convert this to Super 16 myself, took the loop formers out of it. This is the K3, the Krasnogorsk 3 16mm movie camera. Um, I did a video on that, by the way. If you're interested in taking the loop formers out and converting it yourself, take a look at the video. I don't shoot with this camera a whole lot, not as much as I'd really like to, um, for a couple of reasons. It's heavy, it's a little bulky, um, and I'm not really overly good at 100 feet film processing, or processing 100 feet of continuous film. I can do it, I have a tank, a couple of tanks for it, but I usually get relatively uneven results, um, especially when I'm using really expired film. Like I said, this film was manufactured in 2010 this particular roll. So it was already 12 years old. I don't know how it was stored. I shoot a lot of expired film because it's a lot cheaper. And I shoot so much film that I can't pay 60, I think $62 a roll for a 100 foot roll of film right now. I just can't do it, sorry. 
Maybe you, you can. You, I know you can. <laughs> Lucky. So I use expired film, and you get it for about half that price. But one of the things, and this is single perf, which is perfect for Super 16. If you use double perf, then it's not perfect because part of your frame will be in the perforation. But what I didn't do is I didn't a lot for when you convert these cameras, unless you're an expert in converting the viewfinder as well, which I'm not and I didn't, and I'm not even positive that it's possible, um, you have to sort of allocate a little bit of space on the non-perf side so in other words, bring it over. If I'm filming you right now, I want to kind of bring the camera over a little bit. Just, just kind of, you know, allow a little bit of space because your gate is a tiny bit wider opposite the perforation or the sprocket holes. Well, I did it the other direction. So rather than moving the camera just this way a little bit to center your subject this way, I did it the opposite way. So keep that in mind. A couple of the shots, you know, they're off center because I don't, you know, I, it's also, I was carrying a whole bunch of cameras with me. I had a bag here, a bag here, you, you can see. Uh, and it, it just was not real easy to, you know, I'm cranking and I'm trying to shoot with this camera and take a picture with that one, use my iPhone for that picture for Instagram. You guys know where I'm coming from. If any of you shoot film, which I know you do, when you carry four cameras plus your phone, and you're in a place that you don't go to very often, you get it. Anyway, bleh, bleh, that's enough of that. What we did um, is we spent about four hours at the Bonaventure Cemetery, and then we went back and ate lunch and kind of roamed downtown. We just free roamed. We didn't take the trolley or the on and off or any of that stuff, and we just had fun. We just walked around the city quite a bit, um, did it all during the day. Uh, like I say, I use this camera, I use this one. My wife primarily used this camera, so, and you'll see her in a couple of shots in this one, and maybe in this one, I can't remember. Also, this, by the way, jammed on me. My K3, when I'm out there filming, I didn't know how much film I had used, but all of a sudden it started bunching up or sort of ribboning. Ribbon candy is what my buddy at Kodak calls it, where the film doesn't take up and it just starts ribboning in ribbon ribboning inside the camera. So I got it home and opened it up in the dark room and found out after scanning that I actually shot about 86 feet of the about 106 feet that they give you. So that's what we have and I had to cut some of that out too because and my processing's a little uneven and you know it's just the same issue I get when I process ECN2 in 100 foot lengths of 16 millimeter. <sighs> Take a breath. So I want to show you these films one at a time um, really quick because I'll cut a little bit of it out. It's not all great, but um, probably my favorite is this one. <laughs> really? So let me just quickly say, if you're new to my channel, this is what I primarily do. I focus on movie film, 16 millimeter and Super 8 mostly, a little bit of regular 8 mixed in. I occasionally will throw in some still film. I take a lot of still pictures with film. But I focus my channel on movie film. Um, I shoot, process, and scan all of my own stuff. I don't use labs for anything, typically, unless I'm planning on doing some professional work. So keep that in mind when you watch. You get a home scan, a home process look. And I do it at my home, in my tiny little bathroom back there, and in the kitchen everything. I have over 165 videos posted now on my channel with tons and tons of different film subjects, a lot of found film, where we find old cartridges of film that were filmed and filmed and filmed many, many years ago. We process them, we scan them, and we show them to you, the only people that have ever seen them in their life. So without a whole lot more of gibbity and gabbity, let me show you the, well, the little clip of the 16 millimeter. Here it is.
like I say, uh, there is a little vignetting because this lens, when it's when you're pulled all the way out uh, to 19 millimeter focal length, uh, it doesn't cover the 16, the super 16 frame. So you will get some vignetting on the edge of the film, uh, and then we got a little bit of that. I tried to remember to push in to about 25, 27 millimeters most of the time because that's about when it starts to cover the entire frame. But you did see a little bit of vignetting, and, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay. So let's get to the 514 XL. This is uh, in the cemetery and a little bit downtown, and my wife did a lot of this. So here it is. Again, really not bad for 50-year-old film, shot by my wife who doesn't shoot a lot of film, processed by me who does process a lot of film, maybe 80 rolls so far this year, uh, scanned in, a, in my home scanning unit there, the movie stuff retro scan Mark I unit in 2K. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that whole roll overall because it's, uh, it's all home done. But let's get to this one. Now this is my probably my favorite Super 8 camera that I own, and I own a lot of Super 8 cameras, including some relatively high-end ones, like I got three Canon 1014 XLSs, and I got some 814s, and I got 1014 uh, electronics, so I own a lot of Super 8 cameras, and I gotta tell you, this is really a fun little camera. I'm gonna show you why. Here's the footage from 50-year-old Plus X 7266. <laughs>
Some of it's a little over, some of it's a little under, but again, it's okay. We're doing all this ourselves. <laughs> we had so much fun there. We just, we have a ball. It's not overly easy for us to get out and about. We have two kids that are in school, so it, it can be, you know, a challenge to sort of get out and about and have a little fun, but when we do, we make the most of it. We bring lots and lots of film, film cameras. When I get that little roll developed, I shot it in my Olympus XA. It's a tiny little, where did I put it? That's ah, over there, it's too far to go. It's about, you know, four feet away, so I can't go all the way over there. You know what an Olympus XA is, but I shot a roll, I think it was FP4 in that camera. Uh, shot about 20 or 25 pictures, and then I finished the rest somewhere else at an art festival in Daytona. So I might show you that film later. It's still film, uh, 35 millimeter. This was just a quick video I wanted to throw together because I wanted to, we, I, we had so much fun, I wanted to kind of share some of that with you guys. Um, I know there's a subscriber that lives in Savannah. He messaged me or, or, or posted a comment about Savannah. Uh, hopefully I did the cemetery a little bit of justice and we didn't film everything downtown and we didn't go everywhere, but I, I, you know, we had a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this film, film, if you enjoyed this film or this video, how about on the way out, do that. Tap the like button for me. I'm all over the place. <laughs> and if you would, if you think I've earned it by now with this and all my goofiness, you see this? That is just a picture. But feel free. You're welcome to hit the subscribe button down below. And I'm sorry about my voice. It's allergy season here where I live. So I'm getting the, I know the ugh, allergies. They hit me every year and it gets to my voice and I sound like a little Shetland pony. <laughs> uh, so, Settle down. I'm just joking. And until the very next time that this Shetland pony <laughs> sees all of your beautiful faces. Wow. I'll see all of you on the very, very next go around.